Hi, this is Howard from NCC, and with me today I have Mandy Jarman, the Director of Channel Sales at Observe AI. First of all, Mandy, congratulations on your new role at Observe. Uh, we're all very happy for you. So, um, so Mandy, when we when you introduced Observe AI to us last year, we were really impressed with the capabilities that you bring to the the contact center world. Uh, can you kind of just give a brief explanation of of who Observe AI is and, and what you do? Yeah, yeah, very excited. Thanks, Howard, for having me. And of course, so Observe AI is the intelligent workforce platform, and we are agnostic to all contact center platforms in the space, on-prem or in the cloud. And what we do is we sit on top of the contact center and we do post-call analytics. So what that means is we're observing 100% of the calls that go into the contact center and then working to work with the QA, quality assurance, quality management teams, and the supervisors behind the team on streamlining workflows, working on evaluations to tell you actually what to do with that data that's coming in and really enhance the customer experience overall. That's, yeah, that, that really kind of highlighted what we're looking to help our clients uh, accomplish. And, you know, of course, there's three main strategic goals within technology these days, moving from on-prem to cloud, um, digital transformation, and then using artificial intelligence to automate manual tasks. And obviously you fit into that, into that area very well. Um, you know, you mentioned that, you know, a hundred percent of calls are, are analyzed. You know, how does that compare to what contact center, you know, usually happens in a QA process of, of, of contact centers? Yeah. So surprisingly, um, in a contact center environment today, only about two to three percent of calls are actually being monitored. So when you hear, you know, this call is being monitored uh, right when you jump on a call, you know, when you're talking to an agent, only about two to three percent actually get monitored by that quality assurance team. So when you think about that, business decisions are being made based on two percent of those calls which is why your customer experience as the end user may be maybe not so great. <laughs> so with AI, you know, you mentioned um, automating a lot of those manual processes into AI using artificial intelligence and machine learning tools. That's where Observe comes in because we're able to use artificial intelligence to observe 100% of those call interactions. Um, by automating those processes, we can really make your QA and QM teams way more efficient and go through a lot more of that data, uh, making your supervisors, you know, able to, instead of looking at a lot of those evaluations by hand as well, get back on the floor and do a lot more day-to-day -day tasks that they need to be going after. That sounds like a, a much more complete picture so that we you know, leadership can make strategic decisions that actually align with the facts, not with assumptions. That definitely, and that kind of goes in really well with a study that Genesis just released that, you know, the number one strategic initiative of customer experience leaders is you know, using data and artificial intelligence to get a better uh, degree of customer understanding and personalization. That kind of fits, I think, right in with what this th these initiatives are. Um, but however, one of the number one challenges that those customer experience uh, leaders also say is that you know, staff engagement and is, is a big issue and making, maintaining customer service levels, of course, are the number one consideration. How does Observe AI help with that? Yeah, I think a lot of times what you see in the contact center world is agent retention and customer retention are both big problems today. Right, keeping agents in seats turnover is a huge issue because their jobs are really stressful. A lot of their jobs are just, you know, going day to day, having people who are really upset on the phone. So by automating a lot of this, by using a tool like Observe, where we're able to make their jobs more efficient, we're able to see everything that's going into the contact center, forms are being, you know, automated for them. You know, they're able to see everything on one pane of glass things that they really need in their environment that maybe, you know, a business decision maker is not thinking about in their day to day tasks down all the way to a QA analyst or the supervisors when they're thinking about how are we streamlining these coaching workflows to make 
you know, the whole picture, like you mentioned, not just give me the data of what's going on, but full picture analysis, things like that. Um, that's how we're really able to not only bring revenue back into the business, but also reduce costs when you're thinking about making your contact center environment more efficient as a whole. Yeah, that's really interesting. You know, uh, one of the, our friends over at TalkDesk also ran a study that you know, 81% of organizations are looking to convert or have already converted their contact center from a cost center into a profit center. How does um, Observe AI help with help further with you know move that move them in that direction? Yeah, no, we see this all the time. I think we're starting to see the contact center right go from just something that people bought in the past to how do we make this technology work for us? And that's exactly what we're doing. Um, I love that you mentioned both Genesis and TalkDesk. Again, we're agnostic to all contact centers. So we love to work with our contact center counterparts and those are two of our favorites. But what we really do here is um, we have companies where we're seeing that, right? Where we're not telling them to just rip and replace something with technology. We're saying, let's just make little tweaks such as scripting, for example, to help you, like you said, make this contact center environment a profit center. I love that term. So you're talking about, let's use a, a customer that we have, JK Moving, where they were able to say, okay, let's look at our scripting, for example, and observe 100% of what's going on there. Well, within 30 days of using Observe AI, they were able to generate a hundred or one million dollars. I say a hundred <laughs> because a million just seems enormous, right? A million dollars of business back into the company by just doing one little tweak in the script by saying, okay, our agents are actually not all asking to add packing tape in a dolly when they book a mover, right? Um, so let's change that. Let's make sure all of our agents are asking this question. So just by tweaking the script, just by able by being able to analyze that, they were able to generate $1 million of revenue back into the business in just 30 days. So right there, you know, you're doing a little bit of spending on Observe AI, but now you've made your contact center a huge profit center like you just referenced. That's amazing, amazing results in 30 days. That's kind of mind blowing that you, that, that, that can be accomplished. Um, so, you know, Mandy, this was great. I really appreciate that. We're really looking to kind of share this kind of technology out there with the world. So many people don't know what's possible with Observe, you know, with AI and with companies like Observe AI. Um, this is these are things that aren't you know future. Hey, this is cool. That someday we're going to get this. This is this is what forward thinking organizations are doing today, right now, seeing fantastic results. And if you out there are interested in learning more about Observe AI and ways that we can make your contact center more efficient and convert it from a cost center into a profit center, let us know. We'll set up a call, Mandy and I, with the right resources and make sure that you have a great picture of what artificial intelligence and Observe AI can do for your organization. Thanks for watching.